Have you ever wondered what the process was like for creating labels for different products? Well, you're in for a real treat because this video is dedicated to just that. So my name is Abby and I am a freelance graphic designer and I'm someone who always tries to jump outside my comfort zone when creating designs. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing just that. I've done packaging designs before, but not for this specific product. So in this video, I am venturing into label designs, specifically for a candle company that I have completely made up. See, I'm a sucker for a really good candle, so what better way than to design one myself? So I'm gonna be making a whole new brand for this business along with label designs as well. Excuse the pun, but I hope you are blown away by these designs. There's probably gonna be a few puns, so let's go. So first thing is first, is actually coming up with the name of the candle business. Now I have had to think about this and I've come up with the name Spark and Light. And I think this will work really well because firstly it references the light of the candle and there being a spark. And then secondly, I thought I would take it a step further and actually think about a niche for this business. So I secretly love coming up with the idea behind the business. Like I get to be as creative as possible when coming up with brands and doing passion projects. So I thought the niche for this business could be uh, aimed at guys buying candles for their girlfriend. And I thought it'd be really nice for like the packaging to include really nice cute quotes for their like partners. And yeah, so then the name as well, Spark and Light, also refers to having a spark in their relationship. And I just thought that was so cute and I think it worked so well. And I always believe that your name should have some reference to your business and there should be like a secret meaning behind your name. So I adore that. So next is coming up with a mood board. So I'm gonna show you what ideas I've got already. Okay, so as you can see from my mood board, there are lots of pastel colors, which I thought would look really lush for the packaging. It means I can choose certain colors for the quotes that I use. So I think it has to have a range of different colors. I also really love the black against the bright colors as well. So this may be a thing that I do. So I have bought some images across on Pinterest and popped them into Illustrator. So I normally do this just so I can reference what I'm sort of working towards. Now with the logo, I know I want to keep it quite simple. So I really like the boy smells sort of type. And then I think I want the and to be an ampersand and have the script sort of handwritten font because I think that will work quite nicely. So I want the packaging to do most of the talking. So I really want my logo to be nice and simple. So I'm gonna go and do this. could be the one. I feel like it's quite quirky and quite classy at the same time. I just feel like this type is too harsh and let's try and find one that's a bit nicer. I think this one will work. Branding grotesque is like really lovely because the, it's rounded. It's like a rounded font which looks gorgeous. I think that works quite nicely. Spark and light. I'm just gonna see what it looks like against some pastel colors as well. Ooh, nice. I think as well on some of the packaging, the logo will look really nice in the same sort of color, but a little bit darker against the Oh yeah, see I like that. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna work. Cool, so that is the logo done, which did only take me a few seconds, but I knew that I wanted it to be quite basic so that my packaging can do all the talking. So normally when you deal with packaging, you would get a file from the printers and you would go off everything from their specs. So you would go from their measurements, the bleed, the whole area, so you know exactly what it's gonna sort of look like in this file. But obviously because I'm not doing it for a specific printers, I'm actually gonna be doing it to a mock-up. So I found a mock-up that I wanna use, so I'm gonna be doing everything to the size of this mock-up. I have come to the conclusion that you need the logo or the like the business name the candle scent apparently the candle weight 
the type of wax used and then possibly your contact information and your website but I will be putting some of that on the box anyway. So for my label I want to keep it pretty simple with the text and actually have either a pattern or something that makes it sort of stand out. So I know I mentioned before about coming up with a lot of different quotes that would go on the box and I still want to do this so I came up with some and I wanted to get it linked in with a candle so these are the ones I've come up with and if you don't rate these then I don't want to know you. So the first one is you melt my heart. Now that is pretty cute. If my boyfriend gave that to me I would I would die. I would just think like that's incredible. So the second one I thought it'd be really nice. Say if you've been with a partner and you want to ask them out, what better way than to give them a candle that says this? Next one is You Light Up My Life, which is another one that is really romantic and really sweet. And then the last one is You Blow Me Away. Now they all link in with each other and they're quite romantic and I think it will look ace on the packaging. So I'm going to incorporate that into the design. So my next stage is I have managed to get the measurements from the mock-up and I'm going to start designing the boxes and the label design. We are going to choose four colour palettes for these candles so I'm just going to make them, I might end up changing them, I don't know yet, but I know we've got the pink and the blue colour which will look really nice and then I'm thinking of a yellow, like a really nice pastely sort of yellow colour and then maybe like a pastel green, I don't know, I don't know how it might look but I feel like these are really nice pastel colours so I'm gonna maybe choose these. So basically in my mock-up I've got the label of the candle, I also have a box to go with it as well which where we can put some of the information too. So, what am I thinking for this one? I feel like this pink may be a little too much, so like I said, I'll probably end up changing the colours as I go, but it's a process and I'm here for it. So, as I said, we want to keep the logo on here, but obviously it doesn't do much for me right now. And I, I really want to get the black into there, so I might actually create some patterns for it. And I'll probably do this on my iPad. Um, I always like creating like textures and patterns in Procreate and then bringing them into Illustrator. I think it always works like that. So what I'll probably do first is the candle scent, the weight and the type of wax used. So I've already done this and I think I just want it to be pretty simple and the packaging to do the talking so I'm not sure how I'm going to lay this out but I know I want a few patterns sort of going around this um, so I'm just going to try that. I Normally on candles I've seen a lot where they do it in sort of like a box way with like loads of lines and then the text underneath it and I'm trying to steer away from like the norm of a candle label so I do not want to do that so I think Putting them in one line just works really nicely and like I said, I'm keeping it simple and letting the packaging do the talking. So, I kind of want it underneath but this and part of it gets in the way. So, I'm going to put a box behind it and see if that looks any good. Okay, so I have just designed that nice little pattern in Procreate and I kind of like it. It's a sort of a vibe and it's kind of what I wanted. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the other candles, but maybe just change the sort of pattern. But I really like the rustic sort of feel of the brush on it and I've always wanted to incorporate this into a design. So I thought, why not do it on this one? So that is going to be the actual label. And then what I'm thinking for the box is to have the spark and light letters within the box. I don't know if I'm making any sense, I'm probably not, but I want the individual letters to make a sort of pattern to match the squiggly lines. So I'm going to take each letter of um, 
the spark and light and I'm gonna just sort of place them on the box so separately they are individual letters but it will make up the word because all the letters will sort of be there. Okay, so this is my mock-up. I've only I've got these squares there because I needed to know what side was what. So we're gonna start with the lovely candle. Ooh, so oh, kind of like that. It gives it a little like dark sort of feeling, but then the candle will light it up. I'm going to leave that for now and see how I feel about it once I've got the box done. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, cool. So this is going to work. I feel like it's going to work. Although you can't see the S, I have another mock-up, I think, so you might be able to see it. So let's go on to another side now. It's a bit of a trial and error when you try and use mock-ups and try to align stuff but obviously if you had the correct file from the printers everything would line up perfectly. I'm literally loving the look of this. It, it just feels like a whole brand and I just love doing branding so this is coming together very nicely and it's what I had envisioned in my head so that's good. If you're wondering like what size stuff is, you can either look at the canvas size in Photoshop or I normally tend to draw a box and then drag it into Illustrator and then that is like the size that you can use. So definitely makes things a lot easier. I'm just gonna move these a little bit. Okay, cool. So it looks so good and yeah, I'm obsessed with it. So now one thinking is either the bottom of the box to be black or like a darker pink. So I'm going to try the black first. Oh, see, I really like that. And then on these bits here, I think we could get the logo in there. So I'm going to copy the logo wherever you are. Copy the logo over onto here. I mean, we could go like a grey and put colour overlay and then maybe go into like the pink all like this. So it's subtle. I like the subtle look. Let's try this, see what it looks like. So I don't think you can see that. So maybe I might need to go a little lighter. So I feel like if I was actually getting these printed, I would get that logo there printed in like a, either embossed or in like a spot gloss so you see it when you shine it in a like particular light see i like that i think that looks awesome so i'm gonna do exactly the same with the side one. Oh, see it looks beautiful if i got that packaging i would just feel honored i would feel it's amazing so i like the you melt my heart as well i don't know whether to have it on every single side or just leave it on that one and obviously on the um, back of the box there would be more letters as well I really like that I'm gonna change the background to match the box it looks cute I like the logos at the bottom it matches with this candle yeah I'm I'm about it I know I wanted to go to pastel colors at the start but I do really dig this black and sort of light look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on the other candles, try and see the different colours um, and yeah just see what it looks like because I really like this in pink. We could even brighten the pink up a little bit but I'm going to try the different colours and then see what they kind of look like together as a package. Okay that is me done. I have done all the mock-ups for all of the colours and oh my god it looks insane. Everything just links in with each other and I think having 
the niche of it for guys and the name that intertwines with the candles and then the little quotes. I just think everything is just so perfect. And I think this is such a great example of me showing you that your brand is not just a logo and it is a lot of other things that are involved and packaging is such a main thing. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you on screen now so you guys can feel exactly my emotions and what I'm going through. So. We're gonna start with the one that I mocked up with you guys at the start, which is the pink one. I love everything about it. I love the placement of where the logos are, the actual label design on the candle. I think the really nice rustic grainy pattern just works really nicely. And then finishing off with the You Mount My Heart quote, which I think any girl that receives this candle would absolutely adore. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next mock-up that I've done, and this is the pastel blue color. It is a similar theme. The color has just changed, and I've changed the scent to blueberry and cream, which I think would work really nicely with the color. And then on the bottom of the candle as well, I've put a little sticker on the bottom, which is where any other information would go. And on the packaging, I've got the web address on the bottom. Please let me know what you guys think of it in the comments, if you adore it as much as me, or if I'm just blowing my own trumpet here. Anyway, we're gonna move on to, th this is my favorite one, I'm not gonna lie. So this one, comes with a little ring around the top of the candle. And I thought this candle could be the one where you ask someone out. So you could have the little note on the top of the candle which someone can keep if they want to. But what a better way to ask your partner out than to give them a candle and then to open it and they see this little message. I would adore that, so I think it's such a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the last one now and it is the really nice sort of dusty green colour and it just works so well with the black. I'm so glad that I chose to go with the black contrasting against the pastel colours. I think it really does just look amazing. And on this one, I chose You Light Up My Life, which I think is just adorable. Okay, so that was me completely pushing myself out of my comfort zone and making the label and packaging design for a candle company. Now, I am so glad that I've done this because I never thought that I would be able to produce a really good label design and it's just shown me that I can do exactly that. So I hope you enjoyed the process of me doing this and if you have any questions about the process or any comments on the design or anything I would love to hear your feedback. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a thumbs up.